my name is Senator Udoma Udo Udoma. I first visited Japan in 1981. At that time, I was working for a law firm in Lagos, uh, which was part of an international group of lawyers. And we had the annual meeting hosted by a Japanese law firm. So it was in Tokyo. That was my first visit. I was very impressed uh, by Japan, by how friendly uh, everybody was. And I recall a story that I have uh, told uh, uh, before. When we went to visit a, a, a Japanese uh, temple, and when we were going around the temple, some small children from a school, in school uniform, had also been visiting the temple. And they were following me, a large number of them. And they were shouting and calling and saying, Ali, Ali, Ali. I thought that that was a Japanese greeting, Ali, Ali, Ali. So I turned to my Japanese host and friend. I said, what does Ali mean in, in Japanese? Why are they all following me calling Ali? He said, oh, no. They think you are Muhammad Ali, who at that time was a famous, uh, well, famous, famous boxer and world heavyweight champion and so on. And they thought I was Ali. So I was so flattered uh, to be mistaken for somebody as famous as Muhammad Ali. It's very good. As I used to be Japanese honorary consul, and I was proud to be consul uh, because the relationship between Nigeria and Japan was very warm and very cordial. And so the Nigerian government had no hesitation or when they were approached by the Japanese government to allow me to serve in that capacity. So it's been very close. And uh, the current Nigerian president thinks very, very highly of Japan. And, uh, and in the past, and even now, Japanese assistance and support to Nigeria is really very valued. Oh, I, I certainly feel that I will continue to promote uh, Japan uh, to Nigerians, uh, even though many Nigerians don't know. They don't fully appreciate the Japanese impact. Many of them do not know that even the Pando Yam machine that they use. I remember during my uh, wedding, I was presented with a Sonyo Pandoyam machine, and it made by National, I think. And it was very good. And even though you don't eat pounded yam in Japan, it pounded yam here. Yeah. And many Nigerians didn't realize that it was specially made by Japanese for Nigeria. So there are many things. But of course, there are many Japanese products that are highly valued uh, in Nigeria. Uh, the Toyota the Honda cars, the air conditioners, and so on. They're highly valued. And Japan is synonymous in the Nigerian mind with high quality. Well, I will say to the Japanese uh, that there is a lot of rich culture in Nigeria. Nigerians are warm people. Uh, Nigerians are people uh, and a country that is, is very friendly and we value the relationship between uh, Nigeria and, and Japan. And yes, to yes, Nigerians, yes. that there is a need for Nigeria to know more uh, about Japan. It's unfortunate, if not for COVID, I was planning to organize a delegation of Nigerians to go for the Tokyo Olympics. Mm. But because of COVID, nobody wants to travel now, but I'm sure there will be other events after COVID in Japan. And I would like to encourage Nigerians to visit Japan. It's a lovely country. It's a place where they will really enjoy if they visit. 
something I enjoyed was Japanese cuisine, very delicate, very nice, and Japanese sake. I, I love it, and it's something which I always look forward to.